Hello everyone. Uh, I would like to show you what I uh, discovered recently and uh, to confirm, to approve uh, these results. If you're using the right uh, the right poll number in the program, what is here? All right, let me focus on this one. Yeah, if you use the right um, poll number. Number of poles in the program is here, you see, motor pole pairs. Now, this number is referring to the, the pole pairs of the, of the rotor. So the pole pairs of the rotor, not the stator. This is not the stator poles, it's the rotor poles, it's the magnet poles. So, that's the best, let me try to focus in. The right number for for the hyperdrive, the washing machine LG drive or the hyperdrive or whatever, is the permanent synchronous magnet motor. It's different names. The right number for the that that uh, for the number of poles to be inserted in the program is 24, because the rotor itself. I'm using a magnetic. I'm using this magnetic, uh, if you can see it, yeah, I've got a magnetic uh, reader, a field, field view, viewer, so you can view the, the field of the, the magnet motors or all the type of magnets included in the motor or just, just to see the, their field. So if you see here, let me turn on the light. Might be better. I don't think it's gonna be better. Mm. Yeah. So you have it here. Look, is the hyperdrive underneath? You see with the magnet, I, I, north south, north south, all the way around. So you've got 48. 48. This is a mirroring. Is reflecting the light. Um, you've got 48. Let me see. Yeah. It's not so clear, but you might see it. Right, because there is no better than that. These are the poles. You see them on the way. See if I'm if I'm moving it, it's still staying. So you you have there's a lot of uh, reflecting light, and this one I don't like it, but you understand what I'm saying. Uh, you have 48 magnet poles. So here in the program. They ask you to insert the number of poles, but total poles divided by two. So you're gonna use only 24. For the frequency, for the 3000 RPM, as I discovered in the, uh, in the, pro, in the, in the, during the testing, is for 3000 RPM to spin the, the hyperdrive, you need 1200 Hertz. All right, I have it right here, and I put it for 1200 Hertz. You will see it. 3000 RPM, 1323 volts, so 1323 volts. This is the voltage what you, what you need. That's why when you insert it in the program, your controller, your your uh, your uh, um, Texas Instrument Master Controller is pushing out only 200 volts. So per three phases, is pushing only 200 volts. So at 200 volts, you will have 180 hertz, 180 hertz and around 450 rpms that's why we cannot spin the rpm higher than that because the voltage is limited is 200 is limited to 200 and your frequency is limited 180 and that's why the rpm is stays to 450 this that's why everyone is, is having this problem if you wanted to have to, to to run it at the higher rpm you have to increase the voltage Increase the voltage also. So we need a controller which is increasing the voltage up to 1,322 volts. Now I'm not sure if it's DC or is different sinusoidal shape, a different different wave or square wave or. But this is the when I'm when I'm spinning it and, and use it as a generator, uh, my multimeter just shows me that is a is a alternative current. So it's three phase alternative current. This is what it shows on the multimeter on the symbol. It doesn't say it's DC, it says AC, whatever that one is. But this is the, the, the thingy. To use to use this one is the 1,000, 1,000, 1, uh, 
and 1200 Hz. This is the only reason we're not going to be able to spin the motor at his, his full power um, because we don't have this voltage and this frequency with the Texas Instrument controller. This is the whole thing. If, when you insert it in the program and you're going to go to the next page, which is going to be this one, where is the startup, all right? You will see here, it's going to show you the limit. So it's going to be 0 to uh, 600 and something RPM, and then maximum is going to be 3000 RPM. So this is the right frequ frequency for the motor, but because the voltage is low, the voltage pushed by the controller is low, it's not going to spin it that high. When you use this frequency with 20, 24 there, the, small, the, the motor is so smooth, it's running so smooth, you, you, you barely, you cannot hear anything, just the fan. The fan of the motor is going to make that v v v like windy noise, but that's it, it's running so smooth and it's more powerful than I showed it before. I'm going to post another video soon, and I'm going to show that as well. Alright, now the next one, let me show you something else. So you've got the magnet field viewer here. I'm gonna move the, the hyper drive away, and I've got here a seven inch. Put them both together. All right, you can see it that way maybe. A seven inch uh, mm, uh, inverter generator, 2,600 volts is the maximum. I think I showed it before in the previous video. Let me give you some uh, measurement. You see, seven inch there. I'm using centimeters in America. I'm only using inch. Seven inch is a seven inch stay, uh, rotor with 18, 18 magnets. Uh, let me show you how it looks. It's quite interesting how it looks. This, 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 this the phone cannot catch him because it's reflecting so much the, the light and, and the stuff. But you can see it, I think. Yeah, this is how it looks, the field of the magnet. Let me do it like this. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of reflection, I cannot do it better than that. I need to find a spot when there, where there is no reflection. To see the magnet, so it's north-south, north-south alternatively. If you're gonna buy one of these, in the program you have to do the same. Because it's, it's uh, 18 poles, you have to use you have to use in the program here in the beginning nine so this is referring to magnets you have to use nine nine there and it's gonna run smoothly at 1500 rpm without weakening the field so his nominal speed with 200 and 200 volts and 180 hertz pushed by the by the texas instrument controller all right it was a generator before I removed it. I removed all. I stripped out all the the windings, and I uh, rewound rewound it using. Um, let me show you if I have it here. I was using this configuration. You can find it on the internet. Is no problem. Is it this, the, the same like hyperdrive? I wired it up the same like the hyperdrive. You have here the connection. Is a Y uh, Y connection. You connect them here this way, you can track it by yourself, supply in, supply there. It's the same thing like the hyperdrive, I just wired it up and that way. I found it very efficient. It took me four days to wire it up. It's uh, four 19, uh, 19 turns per row and four rows. So I have, I, I was going up, down, up and down again, and then I went to the next one, the next one. All right, you can see it here. You're not gonna see too much because this doesn't catch a lot. The light is not so great. I'm not using, it. but you will see it. It took me a while to wind it up this way, but it's very efficient, very efficient running. See, is the wind Y connection here? There are three phases coming out. It's 27, 27 of the of stator poles. It's got three phases, nine poles, stator poles per phase. You have it here. All right, this is it for now. Very good information. Enjoy.